This video will talk about consecutive integers in applications of quadratics. Consecutive integers would be like starting here at negative 4, and then we want to put an x above every number or integer up to 1, just for examples. But as you can see, as we go from negative 4 to negative 3, we went one place, and then from negative 3 over to negative 2, and so on, every time we were just adding 1. Well, consecutive odd and even integers. Let's start with the consecutive odd because those are the funny ones. So we start here at negative 1 and we skip every other. So we skip the 0, go to 1, skip the 2, go to 3, skip the 4, go to 5, skip the 6, go to 7. Notice those are all odd numbers and to get from 1 on to the next we had to add 2. Well is it true to be the same thing if we do starting at an even number? So let's start at 2. And if we start here at 2, and then I skip 3 and go to 4, and I skip 5 and go to 6, again, I'm going two places to get from one to the next. So we do add 2, whether it's even or odd. So when we're at consecutive integers, then we would say that we had x, and then the next integer would be x plus 1, and then the next integer would be x plus 1 more, or 2, and the next one would be x plus 1 more than 2, or 3. So if I put 0 in here for x, then 0 plus 1 would be 1, 0 plus 2 would be 2, 0 plus 3 would be 3, and I'm getting my consecutive integers. If I'm doing the consecutive odd or even, I start with x, the next one would be x plus 2, and the next one I have to add 2 more, so 2 plus 2 would be 4, and if I were to do the next one, I have to add even two more. So 4 plus 2 would be 6. Okay, so let's do some work then. The product of two consecutive integers is 90. So that means that my numbers are going to be x, and consecutive would be x plus 1. So if I want the product, I'm going to have x times x plus 1 is or equal 90 or multiplying x squared plus x equal 90. But remember, we can't solve a quadratic until it's set equal to 0. So we have to subtract the 90 from both sides. So we have, I'll do it over here, x squared plus x minus our 90 then equal to 0. So now we're ready to factor. And if we do our x, we have negative 90 up here. And on the bottom, our b is 1, and it's a positive. But I have a negative 90, so I have opposite signs that I have to work with. In fact, let's change our color here. Opposite signs, and I want to get to a 1. So if I'm thinking about those real quickly, it's a positive 1, so I want the bigger number, which would be 10 and 9. 10 is positive, 9 is negative. If I add those together, I get a positive 1. And remember, again, when x is 1, then we can just say x plus 10 and x minus 9. x plus our m and our n. So now we're ready to see which what the possible integers are. So if x plus 10 is equal to 0, when we subtract 10 from both sides, it's going to be negative 10. And if we come over here and say x minus 9 is equal to 0, and we add 9 to both sides, x is going to be equal to 9, and now you can see that we have some options here. So in those options, I would, in my sentence, I would say the numbers are, or integers would be better. The integers are negative 10, and if I add 1 to that, x plus 1, or negative 10 plus 1 would be negative 9. or they are 9, and if I take x plus 1, then that would be equal to 9 plus 1, or 10. So my numbers are either negative 10 and negative 9, or positive 9 and positive 10. All right, so let's look at the second problem. The product of two consecutive odd integers. 
So let's look at that real closely. We want to talk about odd integers is 143. And we want to find the numbers. So in order to do that, we need to think about what our variables are going to represent those numbers. So x is going to be equal to the first odd. And then we'll have to get to the odd one, remember that we have to add 2 to get to the next odd number. If I only add 1, it'll take me to an even number. So this is my second odd. And it says that I want to have a product of the two consecutive. So we would say then that x times x plus 2 is equal to 143. So we would distribute the x and say that x times x is x squared x times 2 is plus 2x is equal to 143. So we can see that we have a quadratic here because we've got this x squared. So I want to subtract the 143 because I want to set it equal to 0. And it's not like any of those other terms I have here, so it's going to be x squared plus 2x minus 143 is going to be equal to 0. So if I want to factor it, I'm looking for factors of 143 that will add up to 2. So I could come in here and use my calculator. And when I look at my table, I'm looking for a difference of 2. And it looks like we're at 11 and 13. So it's a, get rid of this again, it's a negative 143. So that means that I need a negative 11 and a positive 13 to add up to positive 2. So it's x minus 11 and x plus 13 and that's equal to 0. So when we set those equal to 0, we get x minus 11 equals 0, so x is equal to positive 11. x plus 13 is equal to 0, so x is equal to negative 13 when I subtract 13 from both sides. And now we want to know what, we know what x is, but what would x plus 2 be? Well, if we take 11 and add 2, it'll give us 13. And if we take negative 13 and add 2, then we should get a negative 11. Integers are 11 and 13 or negative 11 and negative 13.